Before I begin this video, I have to tell you a few things. I have a special guest on the podcast this week. Stay until the end to find out who. Also, this was supposed to be black and gold project. I've been wanting to try a Tanian black and it's long color for a while now, but due to the coronavirus, I decided to stay home and use the materials I already have on hand. Not used to this. I don't know how to act, don't know how to adapt to this situation. Not used to this, no, I'm not. Better let myself give in to I began this project by cleaning it with soap and water, which I left out of the video. I'm going to do a raised stencil on the front and also I'm going to change my hardware. I laid my piece to make it easier to work on the raised stencil. I'm using Modern Masters texture effect for my raised stencil. I did end up measuring a little and adding a dot to the middle of the door to have a center point. Now I centered my stencil on the door and taped it in place. I'm using a spatula to spread the compound. I used a good amount of it at first. Make sure to spread it everywhere you want it. In my case, I'm only putting it on the doors. Once you've got a nice thick amount on your area, you're going to want to scrape it off. Just turn your spatula flat like this and scrape off all the extra. Once you're done with that, you can remove the stencil. Oh yeah, that looks nice. I removed the parts that I didn't want with paper towels and my finger. This entire process wasn't hard at all you're going to want to clean your stencil immediately after use. It's going to make it much easier to clean. This stuff will be a nightmare to work with when it dries. Believe me on that. Also, do not throw these paper towels down your sink or in your toilet. This stuff will harden and mess up your pipes that way. When it was dry, I did pass a very light sandpaper over it. Just to remove any loose parts or dust. Carlos installed these cup pulls for me that gave it a farmhousey look. Now for my color, I'm going to mix Anislone Abyssum Blue and Henrietta. My paint had been sitting for a while and you can see something funky in my pink. A little stir and it's back to normal. I'm using one part pink to one part blue. It's very easy to mix. You don't even have to be super precise. You're going to get a similar color to me. Okay. 
then just give it a good mix for a few minutes and you will get this beautiful color. I'm calling it Anislon Blueberry. <laughs> I'm using my Anislon medium brush for this. I love this brush. Now you can begin painting. I'm painting in any direction I want. I'm loving this color as it goes on. It doesn't really matter what you do here except get some paint on there. going to paint over my hardware it will be part of my look I'm going for If you want to move the paint around easier, just spray it with water. Water is chalk paint best friend. <laughs> I use two coats, here is the first one done. I always spray water on my brushes when I get going. Also, the paint has now been sitting there for a while, so it might get a little thicker. I use more water for my second coat than my first usually. Here is the second coat dry. Now we can move on. It's time for some black wax. But before we apply black wax, we must apply clear wax. I will be applying clear wax with a cheesecloth. I love applying wax with a cheesecloth, but you can use a wax brush or even a t-shirt. It's pretty simple too. Work some wax in, then remove any extra. Once you've got clear wax on, you can apply black wax over it. I begin by putting some in the corners and details of the stencil. I also added black wax on the hardware.
Then I try dry brushing some Anislon duck egg with a small cheap brush. This was going okay, but something wasn't feeling right. I needed more something, but not too much. I got an idea. You have seen me use this trick before, but now you're going to find out how I got it. In this book, Paint Transformation by Annie Sloan, she makes a kind of a glaze from dark wax and white spirits. So, that's where my idea came from. At that moment, I realized I can use mineral spirits to play and move around with my colored wax. <laughs> I decided to add black wax to everything. If you like what you see, I use my Anislon wax brush for the stencil parts to better help me get in there. Now for the mineral spirits. I'm using a piece of white t-shirt and pouring some on there. Then I use that to remove and spread my black wax. The mineral spirits gives it this effect where it's removable, but it's still there. I love how this looks. You guys have seen me use this before. again. Clear wax first always. Then black wax. Then mineral spirits. It's a really cool way to age your furniture. The final step, wax some Anislon gilding wax. I didn't add too much of this, just some on the hardware and a little over the stencil. I'm just lightly brushing over the tips of the raised stencil. And 
that's it. Simple as that. And that's it guys, I really hope you liked this video, if you did, leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. My guest is going to be Annie Sloan. Annie Sloan is going to be my guest. So please join us Monday 6 p.m. Eastern time, you're going to hear my interview with Annie Sloan. I'm so excited about this guys and I know you're going to love it. Thank you everybody, bye. Buy the book. Oh, 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 da da da.